Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's Joy from Manifi Designs. So today I'm going to be demonstrating on how to make this bunch of fabric flowers. Look at how beautiful they are. I got this, those um, stems, what they call stem sticks from garden and I just used um, a beautiful trim to wrap it around. That is giving it a glittery look as you can see. So I'm going to be showing you guys on how to wrap those flowers on the stem. I have a well detailed tutorial on how to make this fabric so there won't be any point repeating the, the, the tutorial. I want to show you guys on what to do. Yes, if you want to get a detailed tutorial on how to make this you might as well check my video. I'm going to be dropping a um, description. I'm gonna be dropping a um, tutorial on my description box so they can click on it and then learn how to make it. It's quite very easy. Just um, a, a rectangle or a fabric, then you fold it, you fold it, and then you sew at the edges. You sew at the edges here, and then when you sew them, it becomes, it turns out like this. It turns out this way. So I'm gonna be showing you how to easily wrap this on a stem. Yes, I've gotten this one. I have this one here. I used um, this very trim to wrap it around. You may use anything at all to decorate your sticks. Do what works for you guys. For me, I had this long ago, so I had to use it. If you like, you can use something like this. Of course, when we saw, we have this uh, trim that will, that will cut out from the edges of our projects. Yeah, don't throw them away. They might be useful one day. Let me show you the ones I use in wrapping. You see these ones? I just use um, those strings to wrap them around. They will, I engage my kids to do these very ones that you're seeing here and it was really fun doing such things with them because they, they never get bored. You know, we, do, we engage them with crafts like this. So, it can always look so beautiful no matter how you make it. So let's see, um, let me show you guys on how to wrap this on a stick. Okay, when you begin, make sure that these folded um, edges are up and the raw edges are down. So what I'm going to be doing now is to apply a glue on the stick first, number one step, apply a glue. Number two, just place it down like this. Then make form a triangle like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I believe you can see this way now. Form a triangle like this. And I'm going to be applying a glue here. Like so. You press it down. Then all you have to be doing from here is just you roll a little and then you apply a glue stick. I mean a glue like this. Apply a glue here. Like so. You might roll like twice, then apply a glue like so. Just make sure that the raw edges are facing down. With that, you can get the shape of a rose. Yeah, very easy project to make at home. You might decide to do this with your kids and you'll see how interesting that will turn. Yeah, you keep wrapping, wrapping. When you get to the down, the part, last part of it, you glue it down. Like so. Sorry for that noise. 
<laughs> oh. Okay, like so quickly, so it doesn't dry up fast. Let's cut this out. Okay, let me stick glue up here so that it sticks. Just a little here. Like so. Okay. You might just use your hand to spread it around. Yes. This is how you do it one after the other on the rest of the sticks. Okay guys, in this very one, I'm, I will be using this um, this chips um, snacks container to make a flower vase. Yeah, so in case you, you are told you don't have you do not have a flower vase, you can always recycle anything at all to make it work out for you guys. Yes, I have this and I said okay, let me stay and see how it goes. So I'll be using this as my flower vase and I'll show you guys on how I decorate this. It has a cover. I've already um, opened it using this. Okay, I'm giving you an option in case if you do not have in case if you do not have um, a stick at home, you might use um, you might use something we call barbecue stick or a straw yeah this is a barbecue stick and this is a straw in the one I used for my for the pump I made with my kids as a project I used a barbecue stick just and I used the, 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 the trim to wrap them around like so so in this case if you are going by this method with this barbecue stick you might decide to just hang it into the opening I'm going to show you guys just about one or two of that for example you might this uh, one one of the ones I may you might decide to just push it in this way You keep pushing it through until you see until you have all the holes covered with flowers and of course when you make them they can stand so well without shaking I'm just sharing with you guys on how to make these things for me the one I'll be making I don't want to go by the by covering by using the cover and uh, filling it with those others filling the holes with the flowers I uh, will just use um, I have a beautiful trim here this is it I'm going to use this to cover this I use it to cover it and I'm going to be decorating them with um, buttons um, like this anything at all you have to decorate you can use them you know so I will just do them behind the cameras it's quite easy it's just to keep gluing and wrapping gluing and wrapping from the bottom part you see I'll do that until I go keep wrapping until I get to the top part so I'll be showing you the finishing okay guys here comes the end result of the flower fabric with a bunch of um, stems together so um, because of the weight of the of the stem of the bunch I can't really leave them like this because it's always going to one side so I'll be using something like pattern to help it stand to centralize the the whole bunch towards one side right then to the main side I mean. like so it's going to be hidden so I don't want to say anything about that okay 
Look at that. This is so beautiful. You can use anything like um, maybe fabric to just hold it to make it stand in the middle. Okay, so this is the, the result. I hope you like it. Please give it a try out. You can do this with your kids. It's really um, an interesting project. If you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. For the old subscribers, I appreciate you all for being here with me, and I hope to see you in my next video.